best truck trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a used 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. And you heard that right. It is used, but in pristine condition, ready to go down the road. But we'll start right under here. So you got your adjustable coupler, your safety chains, battery breakaway, all your safety stuff, manual crank jack, spare tire. I've got it plugged into our little battery box right now so you can see how all the lights work. So in order to get your lights on, you either got to be plugged into a truck, external battery source of some port, sort, um, battery box, something like that. And then neat thing about Cimarron, their jack handles actually double as a lug nut wrench. So in case you're in a pickle on the side of the road, you do have this to be able to get a tire on and off and get you back on the road. And it's got its little home right there, fits perfect. So this trailer does come with a 53 inch gooseneck drop. Um, so that, that is extra clearance for you. We do that on majority of our trailers just to help accommodate with the truck beds getting taller and taller, help you get some more room and some more play between the truck bed and the gooseneck. And that way you're not digging and getting into that truck bed and tearing it up and everything. You've got plenty of space on this trailer. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our 42 inch wide tack door. Plenty of space to get in and out with the saddle on your hip. Um, I really like how big the 42 inch wide just makes it, makes it seem and the ease of use with having, you know, especially Western saddles, you've got that sitting on your hip. You wanna be able to get in and out really easily and that way you're not tripping over stuff and, you know, end up injuring yourself. But right here on the tack door, you do have a window and then your brush box down below. So get that window open, get some airflow, you know, get that stinky, musty horse smell out of there. Keep your um, brushes, your to or toothpicks, your <laughs> hoof picks, um, fly spray, all of that easy to access stuff that you use daily right there in the door and then you're not having to climb in and get stuff out. So coming in here into the tack room on the trailer, right down here we do have a full length boot box. So that goes all the way across. And then this one does come with an extra saddle post. Um, previous owner took it off to accommodate their needs. So put it in there. Um, these are really handy. You know, you could use it as a bench, putting your boots on while you're getting ready for a show, putting your shafts on, spurs, all of that. And then it also doubles as a step to get up into the gooseneck area. So extra storage up here in the gooseneck. You could easily throw a uh, blow up mattress if you are in a pickle and need to spend the night up here. You do have two windows, be able to open those up, um, get some airflow going through. Right over here we've got a shelf with a lip on it, so that lip on the shelf is going to help out big time. Um, keep stuff secure and not flapping around and falling over while you're driving anywhere. And then down below you do have a blanket or a bar as well, blanket bar, you know, clothes bar, whatever you want to use it for. I've got my polar wraps hanging on mine, so I, I, you know, use it for whatever comes in handy for you. Over here in the partition wall, it's fully carpeted with your bridle hooks. And that carpet, I really like having the carpet behind the bridle hooks because that's going to help prevent that swinging and swaying that the bridles do while you're driving. And some other trailers that don't have the carpet, you can see marks from where those bridles go back and forth. That's going to help alleviate the marks to the trailer and, you know, banging up your trailer. And then it's also going to help out with your bridles and be able to keep them looking good and ready for, ready for use. So right here on the saddle rack, so these are adjustable. And that's what I meant by the other previous customer taking that other one off. You can take these off completely, you can move them around, you can do, you know, all your blanket poles and then your saddle racks. So it's really nice to be able to use it to as you see fit and what works best for you. So this saddle rack actually comes out and when we get to the back, you'll see there is a folding rear tack where you can actually take this out and put it in the rear if you want or get an additional one so you have two places to tack out of, which I really like. Back behind that saddle rack, you got a 25 gallon water tank. That water tank comes in handy, you know, if you've got a picky horse that doesn't like to drink water when you get to new places, or if you're going on a long haul and you want to be able to have some water with you just in case you would unfortunately end up on the side of the road, 
or something, it just comes in handy to be able to have that with you and, you know, have that water accessible to you. Right here, you'll see, oh, right here, you'll see the light switch. Um, light is right above the door, really bright, opti bright LED light. Um, so you're gonna have plenty of light in here when you're trying to, you know, put your tack away in the dark or get some tack out in the dark. And then this trailer is also pre-braced for an AC or a vent. So that comes in handy if down the road you decide, you know, I'm spending a lot of times at shows and a lot of downtime. I want somewhere with AC to go sit in while I'm waiting. You can get that AC in there. You can get that little pop-up vent in there and you're not having to go through the, uh, you know, having them put the bracing in because it is already there and ready for you. So and that's a four foot short wall on that front tack with the four foot offset, so an eight foot long wall. And then we also did the step going up into that tack room. Forgot to mention that, but that step, I mean, it helps out big time. You're not having to find this, the running board here. You're able to step up on that big wide step, be able to get in there, ease of use and access for, for the customer owner. So over here on the hip side of the trailer, we got our four bus windows. These bus windows open up part way. You can get those all open, get your maximum airflow going through the trailer in warm, you know, summer months and everything. You have a very bright LED light up above. Um, that light comes in handy, you know, once again, when you're tacking, untacking in the dark, be able to see and not have your night vision goggles on. It just helps out big time. You got your four ties. And then down below, we got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with your 16 inch aluminum wheel. And those tires are nitrogen filled. Uh, this little green cap right here is the indicator for the nitrogen. So that nitrogen, it's gonna help the tires run cooler and keep your PSI steadier. So I know especially this time of year when it's getting, getting a little bit cooler at night in the 40s and 50s and then warmer during the day when you're walking out um, or when you're driving, I know in my truck, when I hop in in the morning, my PSI level is too low. And then as the air warms up, it'll get back up there. Um, you're not going to have as many issues with the, with the nitrogen because it is going to keep that PSI steadier on it. So coming over here to the rear of the trailer, we got our 60, 40 door set up with your folding rear tack. This one does not currently have a ramp on it, but it's something that we can get installed easily if that's something that you're looking for or wanting on a trailer. So I really like having this folding rear tack just for the fact that you've got either an extra space to tack out of. So that's what I was saying by taking that saddle rack from that front one to this back. You have the hardware in here to be able to do that. So you can either have two places to tack out of or me personally, I would use it for more of kind of a dirty, um, tack type of situation so you know your pitchforks your brooms um, your muck buckets stuff like that keep that out of the carpeted front tack room keep it back here and that way you're not getting that smell into that front so just extra storage space and then if you've got a horse that won't load in this smaller space and you want need to open this up all you got to do is grab these two pins right here this folds in and then folds over to the side and it clicks into place up here and that'll give it get it out of the way um, be able to have this full space to load a horse up so it just you know makes the trailer look more open more inviting for a horse that's a little more um, claustrophobic so it just helps out big time and then coming in here into the stall area you've got four bright OptiBright LED lights, one on each stall. So those, you know, once again in the dark, come in handy big time trying to load or unload. Your horse will be able to see, you'll be able to see and help prevent any kind of accidents from happening. Every stall does have a roof vent. So those roof vents push forward and they push backward. So if you push them forward, that's gonna help suck air into the trailer push them backwards, that's gonna help suck air back out and keep that airflow going over the backs of the horses. First stall is gonna be a stud stall. So you got the full length divider 
Um, those stud stalls, if you've got a horse that likes to step over on another horse, or if you do have a stud and you want to keep them separate from your others, um, or even an extra storage space. That's what I really like about having this full length stud stall. You've got so many different options to be able to use with it that you know, you're able to do whatever you need to do. So me personally, if I was hauling, I've only got the, the two horses. So if I was hauling two or three with me, um, I would put a bunch of stuff in this front here. Uh, you know, you can do shavings, you can do hay, you can do grain. If you're going on a longer haul and you need to bring some extra stuff with you and you have that extra space, you're able to put it up there and it's not going to be sliding back underneath the horse's feet. And then your other two dividers come in. And then me personally, I absolutely love these latches on the Cimarron's. They're just so easy to use. I've got a couple young horses, so being able to get them in this trailer, ask them to push over and be able to push them in real quick without messing around with the pin, possibly having a horse shoot backwards, anything like that, it just comes in handy with the ease of use on them. So we can install pads on these dividers if that's something that you'd want. Um, our service department here does a really great job at installing stuff, um, so that's another option for you if that's something you're looking for. So the Cimarron trailers are going to be an all aluminum build. You got the strongest upright posts on the market, the strongest flooring on the market with a center every four inches. And then you also have your half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that roof's got an R3 thermal value on it. So warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, going to help regulate that temperature in the inside. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. And I know being down here on the front range, that definitely comes in handy every spring when we have the possibility for hail coming in. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on all four stalls and your dale bars that come down as well. So super easy to pop in and out. So you can just pop it out, bring this down. So that, I, I love that feature on these Cimarron's. You're able to you know, check on horses without opening up the back and, you know, risking something happening. To be able to check on them, give them more feed, give them more water, make sure they're doing good. And then once you're all done with that, you just put it back up and these pop into place so they're not flapping against the trailer while you're going down the road. The escape door right here. So this is what I mean by, you know, extra storage space. You have the access to get to it right here from the front. Instead of having to go through horses, you're able to access right there. And then the escape door, when it does shut, you've got a drop down window on the escape door as well. So drop downs on all four stalls, be able to get that maximum airflow going through, keep your horses cool, keep them happy and content going down the road. So this trailer is sitting at 610 wide. We are sitting at seven feet, one inches tall. We have an on the floor length of 21 feet, six inches. And then we also have an empty weight of 4,820 pounds. So very light, be able to haul it around, um, fully loaded, you know, depending on your truck and your tow rating, I would feel comfortable pulling this around fully loaded with my, with my three quarter ton, but that's just me. So you got to check your Check your tow rating, make sure it's good to go. But if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers on our lot or anything that we have on order, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. Call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email at Morgan M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noel, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. Um, this unit is going to be unit number 5U, 211 465. And that's 5U, 211 465. It's a 2021 Cimarron North Star for horse goose neck, and it is used. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Call or text me, Morgan Noel at Transwest. I look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.